Hello everyone, I'm Tom, WA2IVD. This is Ham Cured Smoke, and welcome to episode number 5 of the ICOM 7300 from A to Z. I haven't been able to record anything for a, a number of days because I'm traveling. Actually, I'm still traveling and staying at relatives right now, but I do have my 7300 with me. We're going to continue on through the manual, as we have been, although we're going to skip around a little bit for this episode, and we're going to go through Section 9, Memory Channel Operation, partly because I can do that without an antenna, and I don't have one set up for the rig here yet uh, at my current location. And also, this is a good continuation from our last episode where we talked about the 60-meter band frequencies and needing to program those into a memory channel. So let's get to it. Um, we're in VFO mode right now. You can see that because it says VFO here, VFO A. And as with most things with the 7300, there are several ways you can do things. So we're going to just review. We did look a little bit at going through memory channels. I can use the up and down arrows to change the memory channels. And if I go to memory channel 5 and I press the VM button, now I'm in memory channel 5. So let's look at doing some programming of the memory channels. We're going to go back to VFO mode and we're going to go to those 60 meter frequencies that we looked at at the end of section 3. First we'll take a look at uh, the frequencies here in the first channel. Uh, if I'm going to program it for upper sideband, the frequency I want to program is 5.33050. So if I press the megahertz key to get into the band function, you'll notice you can't get to 5 megahertz here, so I'm going to use the direct frequency input, and I'm going to just enter the frequency in. 33050 and press enter. So now we're on the frequency we want. And I need to get to the memory channel that I want to program. Since this is the 5 megahertz band and we have channels 1 through 5, I'm going to program this in channel 51 for 5 megahertz channel 1. So I'm going to again use the direct keyboard input and I'm going to put in 51 and I'm going to hit memory which will take me directly to channel 51. Now in the other episodes I've had the uh, spectrum display up here you notice I don't right now and one method you can get to the memory channel submenu is if you just touch the memory channel and touching the memory channel only works if you don't have the scope displayed down here. So that's why I have it off right now. We'll look at other methods here in a minute. I've already got my frequency programmed. Whoops, hang on. Let me go back because I'm on the wrong sideband. This needs to be upper sideband and I want it not to be data. So this is just going to be a voice frequency on upper sideband for channel 1. So let's go back to the menu. And then I've got an MW, which is memory write. I'm just going to hold that for one second. And that's programmed that into channel 51. Now let's check that. And if I go to memory, now of course it hasn't changed because I haven't changed the display, but if I go there, you'll see that we've got channel 1 programmed. Now, let's program the second channel, and we'll use a slightly different method to program that. So I'm going to go back to, uh, whoops, sorry, back to VFO by pressing the V slash M, so I'm on VFOA. The second channel is 5.34650, so I'm already in the 5 megahertz band, so I'm going to just use the dial and dial it up to 5.34650. 6, 4, 8, 4, 9, 5, 0. So 5.34650. I'm already on upper sideband. I've got it set to filter 2. It'll remember that as well. 
when I program this, but this is what I want in channel 52. So you can also get to the memory menu by pressing the menu key. And then on the screen here, we can touch memory. And now we've got all the channels shown. You can see where I program 51. And then I can just use the dial or I can rotate the multifunction knob or I can use the arrows to go up and down so and then I can actually touch the frequency directly and then it, it takes me back here and says that's blank so it took me to that memory so let me get back into the menu and just like the memory right on the other uh, method if I just press and hold for one second it brings up a submenu that says, do I want to write it? Yes, I do. So I'm going to say write. I'm going to say yes. And now it's entered that into memory 52. So there's two different ways that you can uh, get to the memories to write them. When we're in this menu function here, you'll notice that there's a little, I call it the hamburger menu. I think that's an internet term because there's the three lines that sort of look like the bottom of the bun, the burger, and the top of the bun. And if you touch the hamburger menu, then you get other options. You can edit the name, so we could put a name in here if we want. I'm going to skip that for the moment. Memory write, which would be to write a different frequency. And then memory clear, and if I press and hold that, it will clear out the memory. I'm not going to do that just yet. So let's look at one other option. You notice here there's a little star and it's kind of grayed out. If I touch that, it lights up and it says star one. If I touch it again, star two, then star three, and then it goes back off. Those three options are um, used in the scanning functions, you can have it scan all of your star 1 memories or star 2 memories or star 3 memories. We'll go through that in more detail when we do scanning. So let's take a look at clearing out memory channels. Um, I'm on a memory channel right now, memory 9, and we're on uh, 40 meter frequency here. And again, there's a couple different ways to do this. You can touch the memory channel number and one of the choices you have here is M clear and if I press and hold that now I have blanked the memory channel and it's cleared out so I have nothing in there now let's just for uh, another example we'll put something in here you can also switch to VFO in memory mode using this menu if I touch VFO this takes me to my VFO and let's just put a different frequency back in here so I'm going to touch and hold memory right and I'm going to go back to memory mode so now I'm in memory 9 and this is recorded there you can also touch the menu button touch memory and then you get your memory channels in the menu mode here and if I touch the hamburger menu I have memory clear as a choice on this screen. If I touch that, it says clear, it asks me to confirm. Yes, I want to clear it, and I can clear it out that, that way. So you've got a couple different ways to clear out memories. That's all we're going to cover for this time. Next time, we'll finish up Section 9 and the rest of dealing with memories. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.